The Wall Street Journal is reporting Iran worked directly with Hamas to plot and plan the invasion, while a Hamas spokesman thanked Iran for its support. Major questions do remain. How did this colossal intelligence failure happen? Will Hezbollah enter the war? Regardless of those answers, Israel now finds itself in a new era. Now we already mentioned how both sides of this war are respectfully part of a potential open proxy world war. But besides the obvious sides involved with the superpowers of the United States of America and Russia, there is already discussion about how Iran may be playing a role in the current war. Yes, uh, during his weekly uh, press briefing, the spokesperson, uh, Nasser Kanani, uh, dismissed the allegations uh, and he said that the Palestinian people have the will, the capability and the de determination to defend themselves. And uh, any allegations that are coming towards Iran are politically motivated and they are aimed uh, at diverting public opinion to justify any possible actions on Iran in the future. With the simple news beginning to spread about Iran being involved with the attacks and kidnappings, whether there is any proof for these claims or not, this is dangerous and understandable why members of the media for Iran are speaking up. He also said if there were to be any um, actions taken against Iran when it comes to their um, the allegations that they had a possible role in planning and um, assisting uh, the attacks that were carried out on Saturday and continue to this day in Palestine and Israel, uh, the, that Iran will respond harshly and that this is not something that um, is even uh, remotely possible in the minds of the establishment here. That that what happened uh, in Palestine had to do with years of uh, occupation and oppression, and that was the result of um, not only Israeli policy, but also what many here believe to be uh, Western policies towards the Palestinian people. No evidence of Iran being involved has surfaced. But if this is true, a new dangerous element is added to the mix and a new group of people stuck in their own pasts, due to the psychology of war, will begin to stand up for Iranians, Palestinians and Jews.